Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello everyone. Uh, this is uh, another uh, ETAP tutorial. In this tutorial, we are using uh, pushover analysis, but uh, this time we use uh, load control method. So in previous one, we had used uh, uh, displacement control method. So how we perform the displacement control method? Uh, let me go a review. So this was a structure. The structure is modeled uh, in a 3D form, and uh, so that there is four stories and the we selected this node as a target node and we uh, assumed to apply a target displacement about 10% of the total drift so that was equal uh, for 488 millimeter then we uh, in the load cases we assumed the result should save in multi steps so in the first step was here the second step was there and finally uh, totally 10 steps in the total 10 steps we have saw uh, difference in uh, creation or age forming in the bottom of the columns and finally we saw this is the last part which is the collapse area now uh, in some time we uh, instead of the applying load uh, displacement we want to apply load you have um, uh, optional this option you can apply in uh, multiple nodes even you can apply in uh, entire these nodes uh, you can create as a triangle loading like this you can give large one uh, smaller smaller then it will be zero so you can apply such loading in this uh, direction and then see the structure response but exactly before doing uh, applying the uh, displacement we don't know exactly the structure capacities so when we applying the displacement the structure gave capacity now let's suppose this is the capacity curve if we apply such amounts of load the structure we will give, uh, give us this curve again and so let's go to jump to the uh, etaps and this time we want to use a 2d instead of the 3d but you have uh, you have uh, ability to do a multi-story structure or and also in a 3d form uh, which, which I said and you can select in each multiple nodes or just select one nodes because we will create a, a diaphragm so when we pushing this applying a load this displacement uh, in this entire uh, nodes in the entire beams will be same so now we can go to uh, here we're using the same we previously used one more thing uh, in previous uh, analysis our uh, structure was uh, we call them strong B uh, which mostly the uh, column form injuries and uh, or failure but this time we want to use a uh, uh, strong column weak beam and then you can see the injuries will create it in the uh, beam elements so now we're gonna go to the uh, here we want to create an X direction so we just we want to for a three base uh, let's suppose we want to take just this area instead of uh, instead of that this area we want to take this area now what, what I'm going to do is in the Y I want to suppose it's one in the X that was six meters in the Y is no need you can give it and it was four stories each story was three and the first story was 2.3 you can select that this one and now what we created uh, this uh, grids and the next I can uh, select uh, one of the view and I want to go to the elevation and selecting uh, just one now um, I'm going to define uh, materials so the material is using a355 and the section is going to use IP section so I'm going to define IP so it not exists we can go to called input new section uh, from here you can select steel uh, white flange and here is the European code and you can come to here define uh, this is 400 and 5 uh, let's going to be 500 in this two section so now here is uh, defining this section I'm gonna go to quick draw beam columns I can select uh, beam uh, selecting for the beam is uh, the weak or um, IP 
of my piece of income will go again and in a B section from again selecting this AP is not okay input selecting IP IP 400 and IP 500 okay so now it, it's here and I'm gonna okay so again selecting IP section and this is IP 400 so that IP4 is for uh, beams and I'm gonna select beam and next I want to select uh, IP 500 for the column and we are done here and selecting the bottom and assigning a blistrin using this one now uh, we have to define the gravity load so i'm selecting beam and I'm going to assign frame load and it's going to distributed load so here as a gravity load we want to take minus 10 kilo newtons per meters and that should be positive because it's gravity so you don't need this one i'm going to back in here using i'm giving 10 and we want to select preview selection and apply and you can see and again in the live load this is should be 15. preview selection okay now uh the next is uh we want to uh distribute some uh like uh, lash loads so for this case we have to go to the lash load patterns and i'm going to call it uh, lateral load uh, here in the load type you can select other and called acne so now we have lateral load and i'm going to ok and i'm going to select the maximum load uh is about uh let's suppose we have four stories uh, we want to have one thousand uh 1005 2000 2000 let me give this one first into a sign joint force and this is using lateral force if he x 1000 kilonewtons one and the second is going to be 500 extra and here should be 2000 should be 2000 and this one the last one should be 2500 so it is like a triangle now we define this lateral load and also we have applied gravity load so the next is we want to define some uh, plastic edges so we first selecting the uh, beams and I'm going to assign called frame and here is called edges going to zero one side using black shore beam moment three okay and the second is other side one okay and i'm gonna apply so now the beam edge is created in the uh, end of the edge beam and the next i'm going to select these columns again i'm going to assign frame edges frame edges and i'm going to zero and uh, selecting this time column like previous one we will consider the actual force and also moment and also using one same and okay now we define the nonlinear properties the uh, to the a to the end of the h elements and you can also consider in the middle but uh, the proper way is uh, we in practical usually the, the formation is in the end of the beam column so now we finished uh, we finished in case if you want to see you can go to here and C2 edges created. So one more thing, I'm going to select all and go to assign frame and here is called edge overlights. So you should uh, give this one. And the next is in the section, you go to the uh, edges and going to show edges and also show generated properties. So this is the generated for this column. So actually what's that edge? That's the giving the plasticity so it's a moment of that that column the beams the elements so after the uh, strain reach to that uh, reach to that the yielding part so the uh, beam column or that end will deform so like this we finished 
uh, now what we're gonna do is uh, we can save the model uh, we can save the model uh, we're gonna call it uh, loot And save it. And now, uh, in the last part, we want to do go to define the pushover uh, option. Uh, but uh, like before, we have to create a mass source. So in the mass source, we use a uh, specific load pattern. So did load one and zero point twenty five is like that. Now, okay, and okay, and we're gonna go to the load cases. Uh, for the load case, we can consider the model analysis. Uh, should be eight, so that's enough, and so the mass source is come from here. And now we want to define a. Uh, we can consider this one, this uh, linear. We're gonna edit this one. We want to use that one as a static. We can uh, we can rename it. We can call it push over. So actually, we already defined that that load, that load as a push in load. Now here is the load pattern, already selected. The scale in case if uh, we couldn't uh, reach to the uh, collapse or collapse prevention, now we can scale it. Like uh, here is one thousand, so we need we get two, and it become two thousand, so like this. So now we finish. Uh, we select uh, model load case, which is model, and mass source should be which we define the mass. And the load application uh, here we already discussed about the p delta. We want to select p delta, uh, or we can consider this time p delta with large displacement. And uh, here is the full load control we used called full load control. So that point is uh, exactly giving in the in the node one that load is giving in the uh, story four that area or this area. Uh, as a U1, which is pushing in the direction one. Now I'm going to select OK, and uh, the result set should be multiple, and uh, so other parameter as a default. Now we can go to here and run the analysis. We define in each studies uh, lateral load, but you have you can uh, just concentrate in one studies as well. So it doesn't matter. You can uh, apply in all uh, floor loads and also in the top of that. The pushover uh, not only so a little time consuming. So be patient. Now the analysis completed, and we can see the gravity loss deformation. So I'm going to the uh, here selecting pushover one and using step one we we'll also use some contour to see uh, okay now you can see there is uh, no any edges during the first step uh, but the totally we have nine steps we're gonna check it second step third steps fifth yeah now here is the first uh, edges created in the bottom of the column so we said that uh, uh, create some uh, strong uh, columns a weak beam so that's not uh, happened because the beam is seems uh, much more strong because we have a very large gravity load and also this cost to column firstly damaged now here is the second which is created edges in the beam col beams we're gonna go to more and this eight now here is the uh, the collapse prevention and the last one is collapsed so the entire full column is immediately collapsed so we should get a short curve in the end of the house we can go to the display and see pushover curve now i said this will be a very short because immediately four column in one time or simultaneously drop down so here is the pushover curve so we're gonna this one and this one so and that load was 2500 so which it reached to 1,008, well, you can see here, 1,084, so that caused totally the structure collapse. So this is the pushover curve, you can, uh, like this, if I go to here, it's going to be a little larger. Uh, you can perform like this using uh, load control. 
So this is the end of the tutorial. Uh, if you have any question, like put in the comment. Uh, if you like this uh, tutorial is valuable, please subscribe to the channel and share with your friend. Uh, see you next time.